Good morning everybody. Welcome to another show. This morning we're going to look at the attacking tactical aspect of Jamaica game versus Nicaragua. Um Friday gone. Um big up to Unseen Sports. Unseen Sports is here assisting me with trying to put a, a, a credible video together so that you the fans can see in detail some aspects of what took place on Friday. Now, today, the sole purpose is to look at how Jamaica went forward and to break down whether they made a good decision or, in some cases, they made a poor execution. So, the first thing we're going to look at is how the Jamaican team lined out on the field. How they lined out. Um, the starting level. So the starting level, we had Andre Blake in goal, T. Gray at right back, Lati Badir in uh, midfield. We had Pinnock at left center up, Damian Lowe at right center up, Lynn at left back, and in the D mid alongside Lati Badir. We have Tyree Maggie playing out wide. We had Bobby Reed playing the number 10 position, and we had Gray playing out wide, and we had Williams playing the number 9. So the Jamaica team um, played in a 4-2-3-1. So we had four defenders here. We had the two dealing in Latibodier and Anderson. We had Bobby Reed here in the number 10 role, and we had Gray and McGee outside while Williams was up top. As you know, Mr. Reliable, the man himself, is in goal, um, Andre Blake. So this was the team that Jamaica lined out with. Just a quick because surprise, I thought that Maggie would be in this role and this would have changed. But nevertheless, the tactics of the coach worked and we are happy for the three points and we're going to move on. Now, this video focuses on the decision making in the final third um sometimes the jamaican team make a poor decision but sometimes it's not a poor decision but a poor execution and we're trying to look at it to see how best jamaica can tighten up their screw so to speak and be more efficient and hence will be more successful so we're going to look at the first aspects of the tactical video where i thought jamaica was it wasn't a bad decision but it was a Poor execution by Romario Williams in front of goal. So just look at this first clipping. So on screen now you would see uh, Jamaica inside the the opponent's 18 yard area, and Jamaica was able to get behind Nicaragua in this moment and get across get a ball across the goal and I felt that Romario Williams should have finished that. So look at this. When you look and see you slow it down now. Um as you see the goalkeeper the goalkeeper was out of it. He came and he missed the ball totally. Came and missed the ball totally. Romario Williams had an empty goal an empty goal to to just get the ball on target and he was unable to get that so i felt that that was a missed opportunity for jamaica i think he was good in terms of the movements away from the defender though like movements away from the defender was good for my Williams. his movement in the box wasn't that bad at all was just bad at all. connection maybe he closed his eye which is one of the at least tender night is for some forwards you know Whenever keeper coming forward, they tend to uh, try to shy away from the ball. And I think that 
really, you know, stop him from put the ball into the back of the net. Yeah, but at the end of the day, regardless of him shutting his eye, he should have finished that and see. I felt that uh, at his age, at his, his level, in terms of his level of exposure, playing football for a while overseas, he should have been able to, to finish that at uh, that goal. And that was a missed opportunity. I felt that if Jamaica was able to score that goal so early, because that happened in the eighth minute, in the eight plus minute, if Jamaica was able to score that goal, it would have sickened some nerves and it would have been more confident. But all in all, the Jamaica team did well and we're happy for them. So let's move away from that uh, first chance. You, I would like for you, the fans, to tell me what you think. Do you think uh, that should have been an easy tap in for Williams or you think he did his best and it was just unfortunate for him not to be able to 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 hit the target so let's move on now we're going to look at another picture the second picture on screen and in this aspect of it jamaica was able to pick up the ball from just about the center circle we were able to penetrate now if you look at screen you realize that the man in position had space with the ball and i felt that this individual should have this is the man with the ball i felt that this individual should have drive the ball here once he was he's driving the ball here he would give this next defender this defender and decision to make whether to come towards him or whether to hold his own once he come towards him then i think this player should have slipped behind and get the pass or he could have beat him but the jamaican i think right here and seeing he made a a bad decision what is your take uh, in regards I think to when you see the video we, we, we can you know make all right play the video So the ball ended up when came over to the ball ended up going over, over to Maggie. Maggie. Maggie then, you know, got inside and saw the diagonal pass or wide to um the Maragi. But you know, referee. Go <laughs> back think, to go back to the photo. I think that the referee, you know. No, this player had the ball here. I felt that he should have drived here. What he did was to play the ball out here to Tyreek Maggie, which I think was not the best decision but, but not a but, awful decision uh, no, I, I think it was i think I, I, I have no issue with the pass in my opinion you know other from he could drive in but i think in terms of decision making it wasn't a bad decision either and i said we could have done that but the decision to pass about to maggie was good where maggie you know could switch the play again um and then you know uh the margaret could isolate the the, the, the the wing back in a 1v1 situation where he could get around him. Unfortunately, the referee did not call the foul, and that was a split and step in. Well, well, unseen, I thought that the, the, the player should have just attacked the goal. And because it was basically similar in terms of numbers, we should have attacked the goal. And anytime Jamaica in the game was able to attack Nicaragua, we look like we could get behind him. If you look on screen now, but hold, hold it there. Um, the ball was here. So per people, just before, which the picture was right here with the individual right here, he played the ball here. These two players were able to come back. Mm. So now it looked compact because of the pass that yeah, he made. The, the diagonal pass was there. That Maggie saw the diagonal pass. Also, Maggie had a pass here as well. We could get behind the player. Um, two defenders close here. One, but that's a two versus two because two this versus two. This where? defender was two versus if two you where? notice, this defender movement looked like he's coming across no. to pick him up, and this defender could but have he's come. Late. Look at the gap, huh? he's late. There's a gap there, he's late. So that pass could go right here. We're gonna have a 1v1. As he's done, you know, once he's part one start, Maggie take a step towards him, he's gonna come. He can lay the ball there. So you think that diagonal ball that Maggie made was, was brilliant? Was, was a brilliant it was one? Was a brilliant one because you we would want the ball to and in an isolation, one v one. Nobody but they were agree. But <laughs> and see, in terms of the Jamaican team now, I think tactically this is poor. Why do I say that? 
this player, the left back, should have overlapped Maggie and come outside here. When he comes outside there, he would have created, he would have created, he would have created a two versus one against this player. But he makes absolutely no effort to join the attack. So this tactically right here was a problem. This player should have come around, create a two versus one. If this player come across, it would be a three versus one. If this player come across, it would still be a three versus two in favor of Jamaica. Secondly, I think this player, this player should have joined the attack here. What that's not that, Lati I don't think Lati Bodier will do that. <laughs> huh? Lati Bodier, but that, 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 that everybody will still be in front that's of That's what you. I'm saying to you, Mr. Meeks, that, you know, people always say that they want to defend a, 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 a CDM who breaks up tackle, but nothing going forward, and I don't understand that. They must have a, some attacking instincts in you to, to, to make the team function when you're in attack, when you're in position. All right, play the video again for the people. Because we never do any of that. Maggie had to go diagonal. Pause. Come back. Go back, Pekka Moa. Go back. Where the ball start to move. All right. Where's the ball? All right. From the minute this ball is played, this fullback should have been on his horse coming up field to give support. Mm -hmm. This demon, since he doesn't want to go in the attack, she should be coming across just in case the ball break down. He's in position to can nick the ball right away. So there's some level of tactical decision making that needs to be called tweaking for betterment on the field. Because play, play the video. Pause. You're making it go too far. I want to see when the other player. All right, right there, sir. See, this player is reaching him. He's trying to reach. Right now, who is attacking this space and see? Here is a space that is critical. Who is going? Look at Nicaragua. One, two, three four five six seven seven players and we only have one inside here you have three players versus what, what one you can't, you can't you can't say that it is wrong you know this one over oh, there they, they do the training and their, their, their pattern of play going i'm forward. not saying it is in, wrong in this I, situation you could say that the mario they're going to take on the player one v one then he's going to try to get the ball in the box then time you will have players darting into the box you now at that time and maybe he's going to go to the line put it back and bring it back on top of the box right there so there's a lot of things you have to think about maybe that's what they practice but i, I think it's too early to say that it's just one person going into the box and the maragre is not in a position to square the ball as yet he'll be able to control the ball all right so people tell me what you think i think that uh we should have some more persons inside to occupy when i look at nicaragua i see one two three four five six seven several persons around here one two three four five six seven several person around here i'm going to assume that jamaica has somebody wide so we only have three it, one two three four five wise, five so great to square five ball. person one person in the box unless he's clear and he, he knows that this person can jump and get the ball he will be wise so what the market is going to do is to Keep hold up time a little bit and then that at the player and scrape the ball on the box. So why we can't give the Margaret more support out there? No, it, it support is coming, but the control that he, he the foul that 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 that, that the, the Nakaragan um so un player unseen. Coming. What is your view in pertaining to Jamaica? One, two, three, four, four players right here. <laughs> I think the setup with the back though, like the Gregory, you don't want Gregory to step up like that and the ball is on that side. Where a lot of it's about trust, you know. So they play the ball to him, knowing that a hey, he's going to create something one v one. Yeah, and you can't blame the players for doing that. Um, chance creation is a, a surprise. If you have a player getting the ball 
and the obvious decision is that he has to take on the player then there's no element of surprise it's much much more difficult for the player to be that person i don't think it's difficult for the manager well all right you can that's share your opinion that's people that's something that he's capable of doing over the years <laughs> you can share your opinion i think jamaica should try to try to get numbers out why try to outnumber the players two versus one etc I, I think that that's what we should do all right let's look at the next clip now in this clip now unseen i think demar gray did what you wanted and he got past the defender but unfortunately so the previous video that we, we we had is it a poor decision or it was just um unfortunate bad 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 no bad officiating bad officiating bad officiating yeah that's was a foul that's a step on the player um i think though in terms of the control it could have been more cleaner with the control mm -hmm. but uh, he, he was still in, still there to get the ball and the player stepped on him so that's very bad officiating. all right let's people just look at this clip now so, Hmm? look at this picture um people look at this picture now in this picture if you look and see it, the space this space this space is wide open but yet still we have no runners coming through that space no that is a common thing that happened with jamaica we're not picking up those space the spaces are created but the, we have no player. Demar Gray could just simply, if somebody running in, just roll the ball inside there. So, what's your take? I think you have a point there, but I think be, as as I said before, the pattern of play and based on how the scenario created, you, you know, players are behind the play. So then Demar Gray cross now, which is the problem in this one. It's poor. Uh, now before we reach to the cross. We're looking at what can we do to create the chance more easier. I think and we need to exploit spaces. There is no way on earth you can have a defender. The number two is right here, and the full back, the left back is right there. That space looks like a, a a five meter gap, which is about 15, so, 20 feet of space. So, so basically, when we play the video, we'll see much more than just the picture. So let's look at the picture before the video before we make an assumption like that. Boom. So numbers was three persons in the box. Huh? Three persons, persons. But three persons. Pull it back. So but Aye. at the time. Lee is out here. Somebody is there. Why Lee could have run inside there, sir? Why Lee could you're here? Why you could have dart inside here, so instead of trailing? Because remember, there is somebody else out here. You know? Why he couldn't he that inside that space that's a that's a that's a good one um but people will say that that is not his primary role to to, to, to do it as a left back i i don't agree with you you're supposed to understand the fundamentals of the game if space is there and you have the opportunity to exploit the space exploit the space that's your, your that's what you required of you in that moment unfortunately in this scenario gray made a horrible cross it was a horrible cross at the end. But I think in terms of the play, play back the video, some people them can see. In terms of the whole movement up top, I think there's more space for improvement. There's 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 one versus two over here, but yet still nobody come in front of the defender. Remember, the defender would be much, much comfortable with you behind him. You know? Because in his mind, he's going to say to himself, he won't make the ball pass him. Yeah, but in terms of the, 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 technical, the, the technical ability to screw that ball in was very poor. I think that we should focus on more than because there are two verses one over there, and the ball came over there. I think Terry Maggie could have the ball back to battery for a ball, in my opinion. All right, let's move on. Uh, I think this one is low. Yes, that's the, this is the breakaway. This one is Damian Low. So, what you're going to say now? Just because, just because Damian Lowe is a defender, just because Damian Lowe is a defender and he gets himself in an attacking position, it is okay to do, to do, the make a bad decision. No. What, what, but you just said that, you just said Lee 
is that left box I'm is saying, that people expect, will say and they say, uh, say what is it that you are saying say. and saying i said that he can explore the space he, can, he could but listen but watch me now really see that. this man he got he gets the bar here he has acres of spaces here damian low made the perfect decision and drive with the bar perfect perfect decision drive with the bar exploit the space Tapped into his attacking instinct yeah but then i think personally these players if you if you had the video watch the video these players made absolutely no effort to give support to damian law they jogged while damian law was hustling forward so in terms of the the, 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 the ability to get numbers into the box it was limited it was limited and if you play i have an issue though like why was Romario williams in the box or why wasn't he up there i up. think it was a corner yeah it was a corner but it why was, a was corner. he in the box so like which one in, in the box descending he was defending the, the corner yeah, but i don't think she should be in the box he should have been out there for the order no sir so they, they hold they, up the play they view him as one of the person who is better in the ear physically yes, so if you're a but, person like terry maggie and those versus you don't want them to come come defend no corner You'd have rather put a Romario Williams up there if you go defend the corner. Never yeah, point. But I think in attack though, it would be perfect. You know, right? You could, you know, Damon Lowe could find a pass to him or something. I like. think, I think, I think he was the person. He was there. Play the video. Mm. Hold on, people. Sorry about that. Oh, you can't find the video? It's coming up. Huh? It's coming up. I don't know what's around there. That's the video. That's the video. Go back. Play that. Yeah, that's the video. Sorry about that, people. Go we'll find it. <laughs> See, he breaks away. Damian Lowe picks it up here. Drives into the space. Look at these persons here. Look at this man. No effort to get forward. Poor Low. Uh, you know. It was a poor pass by Low though. No, I thought I think Low was trying to play this player. And this player getting the way. See, Low is pointing, you know. Yes, but Say he's going but, but, but out here. So. This, but look at this, Mr. Means. That run could have been a decoy run to pass us. And because a lot of people think that he's going here. But the can I think poor I think the the weight of the past though cast Terry Maggi was it was be, it would be in on goal right there. No the touch the pass, the pass that Low was trying to make was not to Maggi. Right. So he's putting some feet on the ball so the ball can go out. Who is this out here, sir? Huh? Who is this out there, sir? Demar agree. Great. It so would be a good pass to Demar agree, but I'm saying the pass to Maggi properly would have put Maggi on goal. The no, but but hold on, go back. The pass to Maggi, he'll still be in danger. See? What danger Maggi would watch, be? The watch, first touch would take watch, him away watch, from the player. Watch, Look, what watch. Maggi wanted to do was to put the ball into this space. Would, would This player would come it once Maggi comes out the ball. Use the most the person. This player would come it one, once Maggi has the ball here. And this would put Maggi in the space right here to drive into and take a shot. But I don't see anything wrong with the ball coming here. Nobody say anything wrong with the ball. Because if here. he get the ball here, this player would come. Maggie could then drive through that space. The evil could give Maggie the ball and Maggie play it out here as well. Why? Why you going make two passes when you can make one? Remember, you know, with Damian Lowe, when he come on to pass him, you have to remember who passing the ball, brother. You want him pass the simplest pass. <laughs> when, I, when I see nothing around, I think the player, this player, which if it, this player is Maggi right here, this player was unaware, and this player should have recognized that the pace of the pass, it couldn't be for him. Remember, you know? Yeah, it could understand, yeah, 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 remember, yeah I'm saying, no. The pace of pass, the top, this it is, speaks to you, you know, yes. you're supposed to you can read what is happening. Yeah, you know? should have been aware, like the scanning and so on, you should be aware of. Aware, say, a person is yeah, wise. That's what Terry Maggie should have done. But I'm saying the pass to Terry Maggie here would be good as well. It would be a bad decision because he would be 1v1 here. This player would be out of it. 
the control, the first touch would put him in the space. He would have to come there into his back. He would have to try to make a brilliant tackle to stop Maggie from getting into the space to take a shot off the goal. All right, just play back the video from the start so the people them can see. So this is it now. Nicaragua got a corner. Jamaica pick it up. Damian Lowe driving with the ball. I felt that these pros will oh, come back. Hold on. Every time you see some issues, you see issues, issues, issues. All right, people, tell me your honest opinion. These one, two, three, four, these four players, did they make any effort to support Damian Lowe going forward? Makes it come down to what you know your teammate is going to do. They are running, they don't know, they don't know what he's gonna do with the ball. So they are saying then let's no but one. Damian Lowe was not that with he he didn't have any pressure. He was free. Yes, but Damian Lowe moving forward the ball. Um some if, if you know Damian Lowe, sometimes Damian Lowe goes straight after the goal and don't pass the ball. Well, I think those persons should have at least two of them should have drive forward to come up into the space to give some support to low so him support, was support was there when he when he went when he went into the box support was there so let's look at it this is it you know, no pulling support up was so, there, means see there these players are coming boom at those players make no effort them jogging see no and this is start kick now him just realize it low and this so i try kick if so he was there. kicking long so we, have, so we have one player out here who is um free in space but that's the pass that Mar Mar was trying that, to play yeah if Mar got that ball it would be a chance where you could score yeah from. that's the pass but that but the person one, inside two, took the ball three four one two three four it's a four v four right here but we could get we could get a six versus four if we hadn't pushed some right but players. Damon low could as well as let's go back a little bit let's go back a little bit so Damon low here but I, could, could have drive some more with the ball right here drive some more this way with the ball see the space here could have attacked the space with the ball but you want them know to drive here sir right if you attack the space in the ball the ring back could have come to to tight man so this is the next action as well drive so you say bad space. decision by them i i'm not gonna say bad decision because if the pass came out of here or if we had you know let's let's pull on the pass here you know we could have created something but he could have uh, exploit this space right here. At, uh, yes, if, if Gray, yeah, if Grady move up further faster, it would be a better scenario. But I'm saying the exploitation of space because you don't need to cross about here for Gray to score. You could ring back the ball. This player would be engaged now because he's this player is done out here. The ring back two players coming into this line. You know, if Ty Maggie miss and the scene's there, okay. All right, next, next. So people tell me your view. You think it's a bad decision? This is the, this is the goal now. Think it's a bad decision? No, no. I'm saying I think Tyreek McGee had an excellent game. He made some critical passes, and what what stood out to me is his ability to play and don't feel that pressure. He slows down the game so many times and speeds up the game so many times. He has total control. No, this this now is Tyreek McGee. Tyreek Maggie on po in possession and seen bring it up now. So here is Tyreek Maggie with a build up with a uh, read, a Bobby Reed. Look, plain simple. Tyreek Maggie picks it up back right here. The most important thing is this when Tyreek Maggie played the ball here, he, he got the ball here, pressure. Pressure was in his back. He got the ball here, he played the ball. So um Lati Bodier. Uh Lati Bodier played the ball out to uh the Stephen Gray. Alright? So look at this, look at what Maggie did now. Look at what Maggie did, everybody. Look at Maggie. Look can't use your hand. You have a shoulder. Look at Maggie did the mouse. Move around here, move into this space. See? Space. Is he, he, he scanned, look at what is there. The mouse. He scanned, look at what is there. And then um Tavon Gray found him in the space and Bobby Reed movement was good as well. It's not Tavon Gray, no Bobby Reed. A Tavon, oh. Look at Bobby Reed movement. Beautiful. Good combination there by players. And Demaria Gray pressure 
was quite extinct as well. And some people would say that it was a fault. It is not a fault. <laughs> I don't so, think it's a fault. I think the I think the body shape of the defender, you know, really tricked the trick the, 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 the referee to say that, hey, why are you going in like that? Like you're diving into the bar. You answer me? So, Although so, the hand was in the back. So that was good. Good. Yeah, that was good. Ah, I was so, good. I was a good decision. So played right through so the people them see. So this is it. Let's go. Right through now. Excellent. Next. Next one. This is now in the second half. No, uh, unseen. I think Jamaica had possession. No, once again, we had three versus five. Um, we have, uh, I think it's Terry McGee coming up late. But then, in essence, I think uh, Demar Gray did the right thing here. Unfortunately, we, we, we couldn't break down. I don't think we're moving with the precise pace in the final third. We're still moving at that ginger pace. It's like the players believe that regardless, they would have won the game. What do you think? I just think there are a lot of factors, you know, players not comfortable with the surface, players, you know, they, they, but they know the task at hand, and they, they try their best to, 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 to do what is necessary to get us to victory. Um, I think on a different surface, you know, grass surface and so on, you have players printing maximum speed, knowing that, if, you know, um, they step, certain things won't happen to them, and you're, you're, you know, they're less pressure on your knee. But let us look at what, uh, what happened, Mr. Mix, and let us play the video. Pause. This right here, so that movement. Look at the movement. Mm. Let, let us look at this movement, people. This was world class, excellent movement. This man has the ball here. Watch this man and watch this man. They interchange positions. See, this ball should have come in right there. Huh? Yeah, the, the pass from here, one touch. Should have come right there. One touch. That's movement by the jamaican team was world class top class but the final decision making where that part should be played to I, I i think one of these moments where i think the player would have made an overpass or underpass i would be more comfortable because what it would have said like to me, agree, what it would have said to me is that they've seen it like the agree. Yeah? They, it would have said they've seen it not sure what i'm saying but unfortunately the pass didn't come so if you look the space close. You realize now this space, the, that little moment is gone. Mm -hmm. That little moment is gone. The whole entire thing was done now. So let's go back to it. See, the team set up back now. And then we made a bad pass. <laughs> yeah? Poor. Poor. Poor at the Poor, end. Sir. But right here, so again, people, this interchange right here, so Who was. This? I'm not sure which player is this. Is that Romario Williams? But yeah, this way, look at the gate is opening. Look at that gate opening. You, ever, you, you remember you play train players and you say, um, play the ball through the space, split the defender, split the defender. This is one of those moments where them are great needed to just sit. Them are great even turn, you know. So, uh, obviously, he wasn't aware of the, the, the person running into the box here. Yeah? So I think this right here, would I would have to say a poor decision. Who is this player though? Was it Romario Williams? No, Romario Williams over here. What would you lead that to? Poor decision? Yes. I so I will I would say that is a poor decision. Poor decision, yeah. Poor decision, poor decision. All right. Next. Next. Play the video to make them see the whole thing now. So boom, that was closed, that was gone. Boom, we get the ball. Boom. Error. Next. All right, let's look at this one now, people. This one now, this one, I think this one was, is a poor execution, not a poor decision, poor execution. Remember, people, that we're saying that poor execution is where you did something, but it just wasn't good enough based on uh, the standard. So let's look at this play now. Right here, Lee gets behind, you know, Lee gets the ball behind, and he has... Uh, he has a player here with a defender and other players in the box but lee did not beat this first defender 
with, with, the, cross the, with the cross. So let's play so that's, that. That's poor. That was poor. See, it did not beat him. So play it again. So Lee did not beat the first defender. And as a coach, you normally tell you at your players when they are doing, you must beat the first defender and get the ball over that person or away from that person. That person should not intersect with the ball. But Lee did not do that. So that right there is a poor execution. And he was able to get in. I think it was a poor decision of playing that ball low from that distance. That yeah. ball should be, you know, somewhere. In this but he could have played the ball a little bit earlier and a little bit further away. So the ball run across the six yard. Based on the scenario. Based on that. Next. Um, this right here, my brother. This one, this was a Tyreek McGee. Agent Magnificent. This was an excellent build-up from Tyreek McGee. Look at this right here, people. You have a two versus two. But Tyreek McGee was able to recognize that this defender body position was poor. And he was able to look at this space. My, 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 my. This team, this Nicaraguan team is... is, is, is 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 really questioning and you know if, if, the, if the center forward for um i'd seen um, um tarik magi was going to come inside here he could have made a run in he could have got a direct pass into this area here mr meets romario williams okay yeah? so let's run in so you have two options one here one here to me tarik magi would have said whoa this, this is yeah this, this is what i want to see so this this is what we have i have always questioned other players who plays in the position who they did not make these kind of passes at any point. Mm -hmm. And when I said that this player, Terry Maggi, is a better player in terms of he will take the risk and play the ball, then this is obviously what I'm going, I'm very interested to see what the coach will do next game. Yeah. So play the video, let the people them see the quality, what happened. So look at this now. The ball is here, Terry, get and, there. And see? Terry you see the combination see? of things? See that pass there? Watch that now. See? Play. Look. The whole space open up now. No. This, this player. This, this, wrong with this player? This player need for a move to come that's through this poor, gate. Yes, so. that's, that's poor. 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 Let's, look, look, let's, look, let's go back. Look, look from where. Look how close he was to. Look how close he was to the player right here. Right? And when the ball reaching here, he's not into the box. No, he's lost. So Ramar he's Williams dreaming. is poor. He's poor from Ramar Williams. Poor. Very poor as a center forward. The movement is questionable. So that's poor from him. It's poor, poor, poor. Poor from Ramar Williams. Let's go back to the video and play it. From start. Gets the ball. Combination here. Boom. Um, um, Bobby Reed recognized, but look at Mara Omar. Romario Williams gives, gives no, but gives, at the gives. end of the day, you know, Romario did something good to you know, Romario what? did what hold his ground. So, um, Bobby Reed could have make another decision Don't instead of go, excuse for hold on, for hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, people. Look at this. Look, why couldn't Bobby Reed play the ball to yeah, Romario? He could have been here, he could have been here, yeah, he could have been, but he could have rolled could the ball have inside. Action. He could have rolled the ball. I don't think here. I, I think the, the, the recognition of how oh, Romar Williams was running. He decided to not give him. Yes. It, it, it looks like it was nonchalant going into the box. So he's saying that, hey, this play over wide, wide here look like he, he look like he would be finishing more. So this is our body language reading, you know. Bobby Reed is an international player in the He reads the, he reads these things, right? Okay. So people, so we're going to say that Bobby Reed decision making was good to exploit the space. Bobby Reed decision was good to get the ball across inside there. But let's play the video one more time for the people them so they can see. It. See? Bobby Reed combined with Tyreek Maggie. Maggie pinned that pass brilliantly. Bobby Reed. It was a good attempt. It was a brilliant there. attempt. It was think, brilliant defending. Attackers close by would have given um, Jamaica the advantage. Are, 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 are the, the communication in that box here? Ring it back. I don't think Grammar Williams even say anything. All right. Next issue is the corner. That same build up play. The corner. Now, if you look in the box, uh, Lee, unseen player, unseen favorite let, let left me back. Let me <laughs> All right. No, people want you. Unseen favorite left back. 
made a brilliant move to come at the front post and flick the ball. I think I think this ball would have gone in the goal if, if Romario never even touched it. You know? Yes, it was. So Romario actually robbed the Leeds goal, but it's part of the game, not sure. Mm -hmm. So let's look. He's right here. He made a move coming in right here. Right away, the ball came on to the him. Blind side of his and on the blind side. I think it was poor defending, though, by because the, 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 the Nicaraguan player did not pick up. I don't think they pick up anybody. Look at look at them there. No ball watching. Not ball sure. Watching. So look see the there. Now. See. Look at him. See. Nobody. Let me go, go back. Let me go back. See, look, people, look right here. So it's clear, free, right there. So free mm -hmm. as the ball the was is there. play. He moved in. Boom, by the time the Nicaraguans realized the ball was there, and flicked it on. Greg is a good head of the Boom. ball. Brilliant goal. See, put up your man and say, like, he must say, Romario, where take my goal for? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant goal. Where take my goal for, Bridget? Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Romario, if we work for your goal, Bridget. <laughs> the next one. Oh, this is the next one now. Um, as I said earlier, unseen. When you look at the Jamaican teams going forward, the Jamaican team is, is was able to pull the Nicaraguans defenders wide apart, but they were unable to exploit space. If you look at this, look at this space and see. Look at this space. Look at this space right here. Um, Cephas has the ball here. Mm -hmm. This space is wide open. This player looks like he's trying to fetch the ball right here. But there was a pass as well here. This ball pass. should have gone gone in. Yes. So, so this is this is one of the areas the, the, the coaching staff have to go work on for the players them to recognize those space. When those gates are the quote unquote gates are open, players can run into those space and exploit because it. Because if you ask me the positioning was very poor in what, Very poor. Very poor. So because we did not exploit the space, I would take a long now. By the time this ball to come, this player, the defender recognized. I felt that this player should have gone this way, then this way. Bear with me, this way, then that way, diagonal. Ooh. That's what I thought that player should have done. He should have recognized the move away, horizontal, diagonal. Ball play through, yeah. It, the, the the horizontal movement would have just gotten on the blind side of the defender. True. So let's go play. But nothing was done. The obvious pass was that the pass was late. To date and it was that. Good 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 um intention, but a little bit too late. Yeah. So unseen all in all, the Jamaican team, the, the Jamaican team did well. They went into an environment which was not so conducive. They had to deal with the third. I think they had to deal with more than, more than just a, more than just a, a crowd problem. I think the officiating was questionable also, and the Jamaican team stood up and the Jamaican team delivered. Now we're looking at how can they even become more better, and we think that looking at how we exploit spaces when created is another area that the national team and the national players has to look at and improve upon because when you're playing against higher quality teams you will not get so many opportunities to exploit spaces so you have to recognize it right in the blink of an eye and exploit it boom bam bam so people that is my little video here uh this is how I, I think jamaica can improve we're going to have the defensive aspect of the tactics another day later on today and just share your comments tell me what you think you agree with what i'm what i'm saying let me know remember to share like and subscribe to the channel so we can continue to give you quality quality videos where we can educate and teach so big up to everybody. Big up the national team. Two nil. Me didn't expect three, but me not agree with it. Me I enjoy. Yeah. Boom. And see.